Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I am Chad the Reseller Rockefeller and how is all my resellers doing out there? Today is uh, today's actually February 21st and uh, I'm in the office. Like always when I make these videos, I'm usually in this office. Sometimes I'll make a video at home, but usually I'm in the office because I'm a reseller and this is pretty much all I do is work, it seems like. Uh, other than when I'm on vacation or maybe when I take want to take a day off, uh, that's why I love this business because I can pretty much do whatever I want to do and uh, if I want to take a day off tomorrow, I will. And uh, that's the freedom that you have with reselling. Don't you love it? I love it. I hope you love it. And uh, I hope everybody watching me right now is a reseller. Uh, if you're not a reseller and you're not on eBay or Amazon, whatever the case may be, and you're still working at that deadbeat job or you're unhappy with whatever you're doing in life, uh, come on over, man. Subscribe to the channel and learn how to become a reseller, build knowledge, whatever the case may be. I'm trying to provide it to you and uh, welcome to the channel. So today we're gonna be talking about uh, one topic and that is how to become a better reseller, how to become a better business person, uh, how to become better on eBay, uh, pretty much how to become better. And uh, the reason that I wanna talk about this is I got an email, uh, shout out to Christopher for sending me this email. He is 19 years old, he said he's been reselling i want to say uh, i don't have the email pulled up but i want to say he said about nine months uh, he got into reselling clothing and now he's uh right at nine months and he just said that it's kind of he's hit kind of like a plateau that he doesn't really uh know anything more to do he's sourcing as much as he can uh which to him isn't that much because he doesn't really have a whole lot in his local area so he said he has to really travel uh to get anything more uh, he hits up his local bins, he hits up his local Goodwills, and some thrift stores and such. And uh, he just said that, you know, for the past six months straight, he's roughly making about the same amount. And uh, he wants to expand his business, he wants to be a better reseller, he wants to be a better eBayer. Uh, he wants to source better. He wants to do all this. And that's why I decided to make a video about it. I already sent him my reply. I already gave him uh, pretty much the same information I'm about to give all of you. And that is uh, there's no secret potion to becoming better. There's no uh, formula that I can tell you to all of a sudden, uh, you know, increase your sales or, you know, make it to where you can find more stuff. But there is something that I can tell you that will definitely help you and it will definitely help your business. It will help everything. And that is educating yourself. Uh, and the next thing is, is stepping outside of your comfort zones. There are too many resellers just like Christopher that are stuck inside their comfort zone. They became a reseller and they chose to stay within a niche and now they're very comfortable in that niche. And the problem is, is, you know, unless you want to expand your business, like maybe he could rent a warehouse, he could hire a couple of employees, he could grow his operation. Uh, that would be the only way that, you know, he's going to be able to significantly increase, you know, his monthly earnings, his yearly earnings, and uh, make, you know, more money. That's really the only way. I guess he could take... Uh, all of his day and go sourcing he could go source more some of you are probably gonna say that well hey Christopher just go out and source more uh, you know what if you want to keep it uh, sh you know small and sweet what if you want to you know not have a huge building and a huge amount of staff and you don't want to build it into some big corporation company type thing what if you're trying to make a lot of money but you want to stay by yourself and you want to have it to where you still can enjoy it and you you're still having a good time what if that's the case because let me tell you something, y'all. That's the case with me. You know, I've been doing this 15 years now. I've been a reseller for 15 years. I haven't been on eBay for 15 years. I've uh, had a few people question me on that, and I don't really know why, but I've been a reseller for 15 years, meaning I've been reselling for 15 years. I have not been on eBay for 15 years. Uh, you know, I took over my father's little business that he had, uh, reselling and stuff, and I was on his account for about two and a half, three years. Uh, then I opened my account about four and a half to five years ago, and I've been running mine full blown. I still have two other accounts plus his account and I have an Amazon account as well But anyways enough of that. So, you know, what if that's how you want to be, you know, I love it Because I'm running my own ship. I don't have employees. I do hire help when I need it, but I don't have employees uh, I don't have a huge huge operation. You know, I have a fairly large operation a little larger than most resellers But I needed it. I needed the room. I needed to be I needed to be able to source uh, in bulk. I love buying, uh, you know, storage lockers. I love buying estates 
and I get better deals that way. But you have to have the room to be able to store that item, those items, and you have to be able to sort those items, and you have to be able to liquidate that stuff to to you know recoup your investment and uh, move on to the next uh, to the next uh, adventure. So if you're trying to stay small but you want to make more money, then you're gonna have to do other things to increase your sales, uh, to increase your uh, profit margins. All of these things are, 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 are definitely things that are going to increase how much money you make. And what I'm trying to say is those, the, the, the few things that you need to be doing is educating yourself. First, you need to educate yourself. And then, like I said, you need to step outside of your comfort zone. You need to expand your business by expanding your mind. You need to start buying and selling other things uh, other than clothing, Christopher. Uh, no matter how good clothing is, no matter how how cheap the stuff is and how you can just go straight to a bin store and stand there all day picking through a bin and you can find items pretty much uh, all day long you can find clothing. You know, you can go to thrift stores and Goodwills, all that good stuff. You're only going to be able to pick as much as you can pick. You're only going to be able to source. You're only going to be able to find whatever's kind of available in your local area. And uh, there's not really any room for real growth unless you want to start building your business bigger and you want to start employees and all that good stuff. So what I'm trying to say is if you educate yourself and you start researching about other items and you start learning about antiques, or collectibles or books or jewelry or toys games electronics whatever I mean there's so much out there that can be bought and sold that you don't want to limit yourself you're putting a restriction on your business I hate it I personally do it hurts me when a reseller says you know I'm a reseller I deal in clothing and clothing only or I'm a reseller and I deal in uh, toys and toys only just imagine how much stuff you're passing up on a daily basis just imagine it you know and you really don't think about it because you don't really know much about other things you, you haven't opened up that horizon yet you haven't seen the light yet so you don't even realize how much stuff you're actually passing up but let me tell you something once you start doing your research once you start learning about other things and you really start putting down some education and you really start actually, uh, you know, learning about things. I used to research items on a daily basis. What I would do is I would pick one item. You know, it could be a, like a category item, niche, whatever you want to call it. So say one day I would research uh, vintage tape decks and I would learn everything there is about vintage tape decks and then the next day I would pick a different item. I would learn about Hot Wheel car or one day I would learn about CD player. You know, maybe one day I would learn about cameras, but I would do that from the time I was about 12 to about 14 or 15. And I still do it till this day, but it's just hard for me to find something that I haven't already researched to the point of making my face turn blue. That's the kind of knowledge that you need to have within this business. You need to educate yourself. You need to be reading constantly. You need to be looking through magazines, constantly reading books, constantly on Google, constantly on eBay, just constantly researching stuff. When you're out in the field and you're outsourcing, don't be scared to buy stuff and then learn about it. You know, take a gamble if it's a dollar. You know, and over time you're gonna be you're gonna become more familiar with things. You're gonna be able to uh, pick things up and completely use your your knowledge as a judgment call. Uh, you know, instead of looking it up on your phone. And that all comes with time. You're not just going to become a professional. You're not just going to become a, you know, the master know-it-all of vintage toys out of nowhere. You're going to have to put in time. You're going to have to put in work. That's the that's the name of the game. You put in the work and it'll pay off. But this is what I had to say to Christopher when he sent me that message. I mean, I, you don't know how many times I get asked, you know, how do I become more successful? But I don't want to lose you know, the grasp on my business. I love that I'm still working out of my house. I don't need a building. Uh, you know, I love that I'm doing this and I'm doing it this way. I have a lot of time, a free time with my family and my kids or whatever. You know, there's only so much you can grow with inside of a niche. And I don't think a lot of people understand that. And I know that I'm going to get a lot of backlash from people saying, well, there, there's endless opp opportunities if, if you're in a niche and you can just buy more and source more and, and sell more. And, and, and you're right to a certain point. You know, you are right to a certain degree. I know some people that are doing really big money in, inside one little niche. And, you know, but what I'm really, you know, trying to, to point out is even those people have expanded to a point to where they're, they're not as happy as they were when they were much smaller. See, I can stay small 
and I'm going to make five times as much as most of those people because, you know, I expanded my business uh, using smarts. I, you know, not saying that nobody's smart, but I'm just saying I used knowledge and, 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 and playing the game smart instead of trying to, you know, play the game of how big can I get? How many employees can I get? How many buildings can I rent? Instead of doing all of that, I mean, I probably could have focused on uh, a niche and then it just expanded it, you know, rented a, a huge building and got four or five employees. And I bet you I could have made that business into making serious money. But that's not what I want. You gotta, you gotta sit back sometimes and you gotta think about what it is that you want. What's your goal? If that's what you're trying to build, then that's what you need to shoot for. But if that's not what you're trying to build, then don't shoot for that because you're gonna be disappointed. I'm trying to build something that's successful but also brings happiness. I'm trying to build something that gives me the comfort and stability of an, uh, of an income but also gives me the opportunities to still live to still be able to go on vacations and and spend time with my family and and do all of those things that most people that have 60 hour 70 hour weeks they can't do that's what becoming a reseller is to me being an entrepreneur is being able to manipulate the system to where you're making money but you're not putting in those crazy hours and those crazy uh, amount of, of of dollars when it comes down to going to colleges and and and, and becoming educated and in, in, in getting a degree and then going and working a corporate job that is the reason why I became a reseller so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna leave my path to get on another path to grow my business into something that I, I didn't I don't want that's not what I came here for you know, if I wanted to work in a big corporation, I would have went and got a job with Google or Amazon. You know, I would have went and, and, and founded my own company and, and and did something of that nature. So you got to really think about two different things. And that's what is it that you're actually wanting to do? Where are you trying to go? But, uh, you know, I hope this video helps somebody out there. Get out there. Educate yourself. Step outside of your comfort zone. Start learning about other things. There's so much out there that can be bought to resold. You know, there's so much. Every time I go out, I'm amazed because there's just, there's a wealth of stuff out there. But you gotta be smart and you gotta understand what to buy, what not to buy. There's too many people out there that are just buying things that are not worth it. Even though you might like it, even though it, it, it might make you a couple dollars, in the business of reselling it has to make money and it has to make sense and what do I mean by that I, it got to make money it has to be profitable enough and it got to make sense because you know making sense of buying an item is you know I'm not gonna go out and buy a, a, a huge item that's gonna cost 300 to ship if it's if it's only gonna sell for 150 bucks so it has to make money and it has to make sense you know, do you have enough room to store it? Do you have the ability to pick the item up and load it into your truck? You know, all of these things are, are things that you have to think about. But the main thing is, if you're trying to expand your business, you're trying to make more money, I guarantee you, if you start researching about other items, about other things outside of whatever niche you're selling in now, and you start going out there and you implement that into your business, you are going to make more money. Not only are you gonna make more money, but your profits are gonna go up, your sales are gonna go up, your overall business is gonna rise. I hope y'all liked the video today. My name is Chad, the reseller Rockefeller. Thanks a lot for coming to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching my videos. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, what are you doing? Go down there, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell notification, whatever the case may be. And uh, until next time, folks, peace.